But here we have coming out of the hole, there's a little bee. And it's just flown away. I hope we got that. So if you saw that, there's a little bee come out of a little hole. And the hole is um, in our rocket stove. <laughs> so there's our rocket stove we built. And because we haven't lit it for a couple of weeks, we've been using the barbecue. It's not been uh, lit up. And watch, I'm going to find there's a little hole here. If you see, I'm going little hole beneath that piece of bindweed, which I hate. Below that, there's a twig there, a bit of bindweed in the hole. In a minute or two, with a bit of luck, the little bee will come back carrying a leaf. We'll see. That is going to be the next thing we see. Dorothy, hold on. There. There's my girl. Oops, hello. There she is. You're sitting beside me, aren't you? And what are we watching? We're watching a leaf cutter. Well, we think it, we, we saw it bringing leaves in, so it must be leaf cutter bee. But we're just seeing her coming in and out, and she's living in this hole. Where do you think she is now, Dorothy? I think that I think she's over over at the chateau. Quite a nice place to be, isn't it? Some leaves. We're gonna have to do some research and discover what sort. Of, I don't actually know what a leaf cutter bee does with a leaf. I know they use holes of other bees, so it'll use an other bee's hole. And uh, but this isn't another bee's hole. I think this is just a hole when we put the turf down to make this um, little rocket stove. I think she found a little hole and said, "I'm going to make this hole my hole." Yeah, that's what I think happened. We're going to stay here, and, just, and I'm recording at the minute, so if she turns up in the next couple of seconds, we'll get her arriving. Because normally it's quite hard to get her arriving, isn't it? Mm. Now, she looks a bit like a, a little um, honeybee, doesn't she? She's quite plain coloured. She's not a brightly coloured bee. Yeah. Arthur's over in the uh, paddling pool to our left. It's freezing the water, but he's a water baby and loves it. We are having our staycation. And I'm. Book up. I booked it in. Yeah, we do, do, Dorothy's booked in because this is our little hotel complex we've decided. So uh, Dorothy's in charge of the hotel, aren't you, darling? Mm. And um, this whole video is me looking at a hole. And if you look at the right hand side of that twig and come down a couple of inches underneath that piece of bindweed, is where the hole is. That's why I'm sitting here trying to keep steady on it. And this is probably the slowest television you've ever seen produced because this is Arthur and Dorothy and Daddy in the garden. Angela's gone back into the house to get some suntan cream and some hats and some some sustenance to keep us going. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is you watching a hole in our rocket stove. With us, aren't we watching it? Petal keeps coming back every once in a while. Quick look, there's Petal, she's over there. Hello, puppy dog. Hello, you. Hello, you. Yes, yeah, she's happy as Larry. Shift dog, shift. Go, dog, she dog, likes being on the way of that. She does, she likes being there, but she's gone to find the shade because she's black. And even after her haircut, she gets a bit warm. And this is us she looking at She likes being near me a lot. She does, doesn't she? She likes being near the family. She always sits with the family, doesn't she? And she doesn't like being inside the house by herself. I think I know why she likes being with the family. Well, because she's with her pack, aren't we? Yeah, I think I know. Do you want me to tell you? Yo, tell me why. Because her other family's not here. She missed them. So she's trying to think of her other family. No, when she left her mummy and um, and the other puppies to come to us, yeah, we became her pack straight away. It won't take her very long. You know, the first couple of nights she was so she was sort of a little oh bit gosh. unhappy, wasn't she? She was a bit sad. I couldn't deal with it. You couldn't deal with it. It was a bit sad, wasn't it? She was like howling for us. She was howling for us downstairs. But but we have to be strong. But then now she knows that we're always upstairs and she's okay. But she's not allowed upstairs, is she? Well done, Arthur. We can't look because we're watching a hole in the side of this. I can look. You can look, but I can't look away. Oh, yeah. I, I missed it, Arthur. But I, I can let me let me see what you do. What did you do, mate? I, 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 I did a handstand and then clapped my feet together. Handstand clapping your feet. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Arthur has done a handstand clapping his feet in the paddling pool. Dorothy is sitting watching. Petals in the shade, and we're waiting for the leaf cutter bee to come back. Even the dog. Yeah, Petal, Petal's here watching with us, isn't she? I can tell you what the doggy likes most. What? Cats. Well, she likes you. <laughs> Petal does actually like Rosie and Kitty, doesn't she? Yeah. What does she like about them? Um. <laughs> she likes 
She wants to play with them, doesn't she? That's a nice way of putting it. There's this sort of, um, there's a nice gentle standoff, the dog and the cats, but they're all, they're all happy. The cats keep coming and eating all their grub and coming to see us. And when we're working in the outbuilding, the cats are there all the time. It's just that they're not really around Petal very much. Do you realise we've had four and a half minutes weird, watching this hall? Is that we have two cats, but one cat comes to visit, and the one cat is looking a lot like Petal, so Petal more chases our black cat. Well, the, the, the black cat's not ours. We've got two cats and an adopted cat, haven't we? Because the big furry black cat isn't ours, but it comes to our house to get fed, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. We are now five minutes into watching this haul, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for staying with us if you've stayed with us. Yes. And uh, we promise there will be some action very, very soon. <laughs> I wonder what's in there. It does mean that we haven't been able to light our rocket stove since we discovered the little bee. Because we love our pollinators, don't we? What, what, what do the bees do for us, Dorothy, that's good? Honey. Honey's great, yeah? But these bees don't give us honey because we can't take honey out of that little hole, can we? What do they do instead? What, what do the bees do when they go around visiting the plants? Do you know? You know? Well, they help the plant actually make seeds. They pollinate. It's called pollination. And they go along and they, and they carry pollen from one to another and they help fertilize things and they're on our side. Without bees, we wouldn't be able to have fruit because you can see, if you look from here, around the garden, see all our apples and our pumpkins and the pears, all of those need to, and, and what about all of the sort of the other fruits and things we have? They all need bees to help. At the moment, ladies and gentlemen, we are six minutes in and she hasn't come home. And I'm not turning off now because otherwise we'll miss her. And that would be very, very silly, wouldn't it? So this is a very long um, piece of video for us. Six minutes. And we still haven't got fiber optic here yet, so it could take a long time to um, upload, but we'll see. My shadow might come in. Your shadow might come in. You see, Dorothy knows she has to move around and be careful with the shadow. You can see the little picture. Dorothy's now with me. I'm here. Yeah, you're right beside me. Now I'm going back to my seat. Now she's going back to her seat because this is yeah. Daddy and Dorothy looking at a hole in the rocket stove. And for all you parents out there, it's a great way to keep your children um, quiet. You tell them there's a leaf cutter bee. Have you seen the bee? Have you seen it, Dorothy? I think it's the white, really bright green and a really bright yellow. Oh no, that's not the one here. That's a little brown one, I think. But what happens if you see it, if she comes in, she might carry a leaf. Maybe she's taking a long time to come because it's seven minutes we've been watching this hole. Recording, trying to stay relatively still. But this is the seven minute hole watch. You see? Shh, shh, I can hear, hear something. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? That was building up the jeopardy, ladies and gentlemen. There's the two of us looking at a hole. And this hole that we're looking at has got a leaf cutter bee going in. And I'm saying it's leaf cutter bee because it, I saw it carrying in bits of leaf. And that just seemed logical because I've never heard of any other bees carrying leaves. I know my honeybees don't, and they wait patiently. Here we go, waiting for the bee to return. Nearly I eight minutes. Long. Nearly eight minutes, Dorothy. Oh she must. She, it might be a tough old leaf she's trying to cut. Now, this is where we could possibly pause and try and turn it on again, but then we can miss the action. So, instead I'm going to come out a little bit and I'm going to go back in a little bit. That was the excitement of watching a hole for a bee to come back. And um, I hope she's, when she comes, she's going to be holding in her leg something green that's very leaf-like. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Would that be good, Dodie? What I think is she's trying to cut is I have two things. I don't know if this is not it. Well, so a bee. We have some lovely bees in our garden. What's your favourite bee? Okay, honey Our honey bees, because we got lots of them, and they're good girls, aren't they? Because you know it's all the girls that do the work in the honey bees. Did you know that? Yeah, because there's no boys. There is. There's boys are called drones, but they don't do very much, and they're not there all, or they, they, don't, they don't sort of do a lot. But they, they, they don't have really, they're not really useful except for sort of helping the queen for her, when she goes for her maiden, her virgin flight. 
they, they go and dance with her, that's what we call it. And um, then we have all the little baby bees, but they don't do very much. But all the honey and looking after all of the brood, did you know brood the little larvae that live in all the honeycomb? When they look after that, that's, um, that's what the girls do. They're going to be, and we are nine and a half minutes into watching this haul, and it's almost like it's one of those things like it's like the lottery where you get a set of tickets and you keep going for a couple of weeks, the same number, and then you feel you have to do it forever. <laughs> this is our life. Dorothy and Daddy are watching a haul. I hope you're concentrating, Dorothy, because when it comes, we don't want to miss it. I'm drinking. Mm -hmm. I'm Ten thirsty. full minutes. I'm so thirsty. We've just had a drink. It's quite nice and warm, isn't it? But it's not too hot today. It's in the sort of the uh, mid-high 20s today instead of the sort of the 30s. Mid-high 30s, which is very nice. Come on, where's our bee? Can I just say, we are now um, 10 and a half minutes into watching a haul. Hope you've managed to stay with us. This is real endurance and we do appreciate it. Um, because if something happens, you don't want to miss it. This could be one of those occasions that everybody wishes they were there for. So if you sign off now and go and do something else, I don't really blame you, but just know you will, you'll miss it. I think it should be um, an Agincourt speech here. The people called them manhood cheap that weren't here when we saw the bee come in. Do you know what I'm talking about, Dorothy? Yeah. No, you don't. You've got no idea, but there we are. Oh, you're my girl, aren't you? Right, and this is 11 minutes and nothing has come back. This is the longest bit of video recording we've done. I know I had a walk around the garden, but this is 11 minutes looking at a hole. Can um, you get one of your bunny in here? No, I can't, I can't move, Arthur, because we're, 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 we're sort of... Dorothy, you'll miss it. Don't go. Don't go, Dorothy. We're 11 and a half minutes. She, she must be back soon. Oh, don't, don't go. B might be back. Oh, Dorothy, don't miss it. Quickly give Arthur a body board in the, in the paddling pool. Our swimming pool is a big paddling pool, but it's been brilliant because um, we didn't go away on holiday. We haven't been to the beach. We haven't done anything like that. So Arthur's in there playing around the place. Why am I so thirsty? I don't know, Dorothy, because what are you drinking? Homemade lemonade. Mummy made some lemonade yesterday with Arthur, didn't she? Dad? Yes, Arthur. Have you thought about what is your hardest thing you've ever done? Yes, and then um, hold on. But um, the hardest thing I've ever done is sat here filming. Arthur asked me yesterday what's the hardest thing I've ever done. That's a really, really difficult question. And um, obviously, we all know now it's sitting here looking really? at a hole for 12 Thinking minutes. Thinking about the question was very challenging because. There are some things in your life which are very, very hard. And um, my Paul Burr and my youngest sister's wedding, um, my youngest sister's funeral was too hard. That was too hard to even think about. But Arthur doesn't understand that. Yeah. My dad's funeral, likewise, those are really hard, to, hard things to do. Um, I should be able to sort of say lots of military things, but they weren't hard. They were just jobs we did. And so. Um, it's a really, really difficult question to give an answer to a seven-year-old. What's the hardest thing you've ever done in your life? I'm six. Yeah, we, 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 Arthur asked a question, not you, and he's seven. So uh, what is the hardest thing you've ever done in your life? And um, It's not climbing up mountains, it's not climbing glaciers, it's not potholing in the middle of nowhere. Yes, big son. How do I get out? You, you can't get out anywhere until after this bee's been, because we are now... 13 and a half minutes into seeing if a bee comes back to her hole. She's gonna come back with a tree. That's what's gonna happen, Dorothy, isn't it? So, this I is. Um, to, I think he or he trying to cut off. I think it's a she. Oh, it is a she. It's a, it's a girl bee. I don't know how. I don't, really, I don't know anything about the life cycle of. Um, I think he's. Leaf cutter trying, bee. I think he's trying to cut off a hose. <laughs> There's a bit of green hose you mean you think she thinks she's trying to cut it off and <laughs> that's a very astute comment. Oh, she's trying to cut something green that isn't actually a leaf, that's the difficulty. Hmm, now we get it. No, 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 she, whatever leaf it is, she'll be used to catching. Um, I can't believe that this is 14, 
plus minutes of watching this haul. And um, yeah, no, 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 you, you'll see it from your seat, darling. Yeah, but it's um, I know, so am I. Well, we're having a little chat anyway, and um, I do hope when she comes back, she's carrying something to make this all worthwhile. Wow. Oh, come on. Let's see if she comes back. We've watched her come back a couple of times. Normally, I don't think she's this long. I think we should try hiding. But if we hide, then we won't be able to film it. And then this this um, 15 minutes will be wasted. Um, <laughs> a long, long video. I like the idea of slow telly, where you just sort of um, see what's happening. We were thinking about putting up um, a camera, a solar powered camera here at the chateau, so people can just see what happens in the chateau, because um, there's certain, obviously there's certain places we wouldn't point it, we're not that stupid. But um, it is one of the things, it is just wonderful to see how things change. Gonna put a, gonna put a time lapse up and um, be able to see the season changing because we're, the leaves are starting to come down. The leaves are starting to come down now, and that's quite important that we sort of start capturing that. So, we might time lapse it, we might do some other things, but this to me is the perfect example of good. slow. Pardon? What did you just say? I'm not doing anything. It's quite boring. We're just watching a hole. I'll go it, Don't, darling, you're gonna miss it. We're 16 minutes. She has to come back soon. Oh no, please come back, please come back. Sixteen minutes. I think it's going to cut off. You know, can you imagine if I cut now? I will a a green wheelbarrow. I'm I'm worried about actually a green wheelbarrow. I think it's trying to cut off a green wheelbarrow. <laughs> Dorothy's worked out that she's trying to cut something a bit difficult, so maybe it's one of our green wheelbarrows she's taking a chunk out of. It's a bit of my scrap heap days going on there. Either this one, or that one over there. Oh, we've got some green wellies around the place. You could be trying to take a lump off a green welly. Poor little thing. Now, I'm a bit aware that the um, my screen that I'm looking at this on is, is, is starting to blur a little bit, because it's, um, it's, it's getting a bit warm <laughs> in the sunshine, so... Do you, you'll probably have a little sleep, Dorothy, and I'll wake you up when she comes. 17 minutes of watching a haul. Do you realise that? That's nearly half of an Escape to the Chateau episode. <laughs> oh dear. And so far there's nothing to report. It was a slow news day at the Chateau. Dick and Dorothy were watching a haul. Dorothy has started to move the furniture around because um, all the furniture we've got here, Dorothy's um, using it as our, our hotel. She, and she's the general manager of the hotel, aren't you, darling? Yeah. I'm just going to take a nap here. She's just taking a nap. And then wake me up. And what I have to do, she, Dorothy's taking a nap, so what I have to do is record this. And if she, if, when the bee comes back, I'll show her the video now because she's got her eyes shut. Can you imagine if I don't catch this bee now? Anybody who's stuck with us for this last couple of minutes, thank you so much for your perseverance. <laughs> but the bee hasn't turned up. If, if, if you get to the end of this and you've been waiting for the bee to come and I just stop before the bee comes, can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be, eh? That would be so sad. Where is our bee gone? Imagine if it waited for a whole day. That wouldn't be funny. I have got quite a lot of memory on my camera, but I don't know how we'd ever upload this. That's the difficulty. I'm just going to go to sleep. You want to sleep? Well, my camera's looking a bit dark. My, my lens is looking a bit dark in my screen, sorry. So I can't see what I'm pointing at particularly well. That's, that's a bit of a worry, but we're still recording. Nearly 19 minutes in. I do hope that we, our little bee's okay. I see. Can we just, can we just make out where it is? It's quite difficult, isn't Dad, it? Just don't. don't touch the screen. Don't touch the screen. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. You, the, it's easy when you put your head there. It's a shadow for me. Mm. Oh, really, really hope this has worked. Because this twenty minutes 
waiting for our bee to come home. Now, when I was up in uh, at school in Nottinghamshire, I actually remember seeing a bee eater. A what? A bee eater is a bird that eats bees. Mm. Bee eater. I don't think I've seen any around us, thank goodness, because we love bees, don't we? But I remember seeing a little bee eater and just do a lot of bee eating. As you can see, I'm now going through all the really worrying scenarios. What has happened to our little solitary bee leaf cutter bee? Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, this one it's either problems harvesting our leaf or there are other issues. Oops. I Let's think it's trying to cut some green boots. Mm hmm. Or um, a green rubber. This is an endurance test. Come on, <coughs> B, come back. I you think do it, it doesn't want to come back because we're here. I'm on multiple zoom in my, my I'm, I'm far enough away so she should be able to get in without us bothering her. That's why I've got the zoom on my camera. It's a bit shaky, should really put the camera on a stand, it would have made this much easier, wouldn't it? Mm. Come on, B. Mm, that's a fly, we can see a fly flying around. Where's the bee? Unbelievable. What? <laughs> it's one of those things, I can't stop when I... It's just not possible to stop when you're this far into it. The very first television series I ever made was called Crafty Tricks of War. Yeah. And I built a timer which involved um, a chemical eating through another chemical before the detonator went off. I don't know when anybody's going to come in. I don't know when the bees come in. But we're com I can't come in the water with you, Arthur, until after this bee arrives, I'm afraid. Sorry. But I built a... I'm, I'm, I'm talking on the, on, the, on the camera here, you. Because I'm, I'm actually filming. This is a bee we're filming here. It's very important. But what I did, made a chemical timer for Crafty Tricks oh, of War to show how timers worked. Um, it took slightly longer than anybody expected for it to go off. And I remember everyone sitting around, all the cameras rolling, all the sort of the looped slow motion, everything there for the little explosion at the end when it all went off and it took forever. But then somebody said, can we not just sort of um, make it happen? And the answer is categorically no. You have to just let these things happen really, otherwise you've got no integrity. And so we waited and we waited. And when it went bang, everybody shit themselves. <laughs> I know that's really it's a ghost story, sorry, but that's true, that's what happened. Because when the thing went bang, it scared everybody to death because we didn't expect it to happen. There's a fly on my twig that's marking where the, um, the actual um, hole is. Yeah. We are 22 and a half minutes in. Uh, I can't believe I'm actually considering stopping this, taking my clothes off and going into the, the paddling pool with Arthur. Oh, well, I might come in with you, Arthur. Are you hot or cold? You're not hot, Arthur, are you? Dorothy's checking the temperature of the water, which is actually six degrees cooler than it was last week. Mm. This. <laughs> um, by the way, if you haven't zoomed forward to this point, you've been with us for, um, what is it? It looks like 28 minutes, can we? 20, 23 minutes. You've been with us for 23 minutes, 24 minutes. What and uh, Dor Dorothy, it's time for us to go to bed. So sorry. But this is a bee hole being monitored for a leafcutter bee to come home. How long should we give ourselves? Um, if anybody's shouting, no, no, don't stop now, we're going to miss it. Mm, that's an issue. Maybe oh, we should just say... Finish the hours. And then a cut-off time of... Oh, here she comes, come. Look, here she comes, you ready? Stay, stay, stay perfectly still, Dorothy. And she's gone in without any... I can just see a tail going in there. 
Yeah. She came back, Dorothy. Didn't she come back? Yeah. Okay, you can go back to running your hotel now. Okay, well done. That was a... <laughs> okay, I'm going to play soccer. Oh dear, that's really quite funny. That's really quite funny. I almost picked oh, it up. Over 20 back minutes and that was... Oh look, she's coming back out again. I, oh, no, I can see her in her hole. I can see her in the hole just in there. But she didn't come back with anything. She hasn't, right? didn't come back with anything. Maybe because she couldn't have Oh, I zoomed in too far, I can't see the hole. Where's the I'll hole? I'll get the thing Oops. ready. Oh, this one wasn't like this one that she came out the first time. Where has she gone to? Oh, there she is. I zoomed in too much. I couldn't find out where it was. So that's the twig. There's the hole. I just saw in that there's a little tiny bit of green in that hole I can just about make out. A little tiny bit of green, which is, um, looks like there's a leaf in there. She came back without a leaf. What was that about? There was me telling you it's a leaf cutter bee carrying leaves back and forth and it didn't happen. There she is. She came in and went in that time and she didn't have a leaf with her. What's going on here? So, coming out of her little hole now. I yeah. just sort of see her approaching and coming out. Watch very carefully. Come on out, come on, missus. She's at the door, she's looking out. I think she's looking, almost I can see her head turning left and right. I don't know if that's clear from this view here, but um, She's in there, she's looking, she's coming out. There she is, that's our little leaf cutter. She's probably thinking these leaves are in the way. I mean, we should cut them, there she goes, and she's off. She's back, she's carrying a bit, I see a little leaf, hopefully got to see that. She carried a leaf and boy, she didn't hang around. That just took seconds. I hope we managed to catch that. Been waiting for her to come back. She carried a bit of leaf in that hole. So into that hole is where she carried the leaf.